Good morning and welcome. What an incredible day at Earhart School. Um, it's always so amazing to see our fifth graders today because I, I truly remember many of them as five-year-olds when they came and grown up to be such amazing young people ready to go to middle school. Many of you even came to Earhart before you were five and in kindergarten. You came along with your parents when they volunteered with older siblings and you were here as toddlers. And so it truly is amazing to see you today. Um, some of you have joined us along the way. Some of you joined us in first grade, third grade, fourth grade, or just this year. And all of you have earned that right as students to say you went to Earhart School. Some of you began as very tentative young children. You're now able to see the world in a much larger way. Make decisions and choose your own path that will benefit you and those around you. As a class, your vision for our school has always been rather strong. As first graders, several of you wrote me letters about how we could improve the school. Jane, who isn't here anymore, wanted nap time because <laughs> learning was so hard, we really needed nap time in the middle of the day. Um, Boston, who left us along the way, wanted a math game room, and we've done a math game room. Uh, Waverly, Waverly wanted a fireplace and a sofa in every room <laughs> so that you could sit and read whenever you wanted to. Uh, Brenna, Brenna thought we should have a restaurant uh, to replace school food. And so that if you got hungry in the middle of class, you could just go off to the restaurant. Um, Dominic, Eddie, Sisto, Jacob, they all wanted an indoor gym. Uh, Eddie thought we should add a swimming pool to that. Sisto was a little more specific. He said we should have the gym so on rainy days we could play red light, green light like they did in preschool. Um, However, uh, George, your vision was that we had laptops for everybody. So we didn't have to have so many books, and if we needed to know something, we'd just Google it. <laughs> uh, Zelinda and McKenna also wanted laptops, um, so our desks wouldn't get so messy. They figured that if we read our books on a laptop, tablets weren't even thought of when you were in first grade. But you wouldn't need to worry about all that stuff in your desk. Um, Emilio, you wanted more field trips to places like New York to see the Statue of Liberty. And you thought we should stay there two hours. <laughs> Malcolm also thought we really needed a lot more field trips, about one every week. <laughs> However, the one letter which touched me the most right now was Ethan Lee, and Ethan said, Dear Mrs. Dean, I want to convince you to hire a science teacher. We can hire a science teacher because science is important. We can learn about space, solar system, body, time, and energy, and everything, every day. Also, every class would enjoy having a science teacher. Science is the best ever. And if we could just have a science teacher. And so your vision during the years that you've been at Earhart School have come real. They've become real in so many ways as we do have a science program. We do have laptops for fourth and fifth graders and the new tablets for fifth graders. And so your vision has been a guiding piece for us. We, as your teachers and your principal, and your parents are proud of you and know that as you go on to the next step, you will continue to have that vision.
ago, Robert Fulbright published a book entitled, All I Really Need to Know I Learned in Kindergarten. Well, we believe that much of what we need to know to be successful is either students, friends, family members, and citizens. We have learned here at um, Amelia Earhart School. We have learned, always ask questions when you have them. It takes a lot more effort to make a friend than to keep a friend. Bravery is an attribute that will help you in all aspects of life. Respect the earth. If you don't expect things to always go your way, you won't spend as much time disappointed and angry. Listen. Being organized is beneficial to you in everything, including keeping out of trouble. Never change yourself for a friend. Pay attention with when classmates get in trouble. You will learn something new about both your teacher and your classmate. Be polite and listen carefully and respect others' opinions. Science is fun. Reflect. You may not always want, you may not always be able to trust your friends, but still make them. Good friends are a precious gift. Your teachers can end up being your best friend. Don't make them angry. <laughs> try not to do anything that will embarrass your parents. The harder and longer you try, the easier it will become. Don't walk through a game that involves flying balls. <laughs> Use your time wisely. Even though paper is flat, it is three-dimensional. Always check the back side of a test for questions. Everyone believes in different things. Be yourself regardless of how hard people push you to be someone else. Family life is not all that gross. Appreciate your teachers. Just because a book, book is lengthy doesn't mean it will be hard or boring. Compromise and cooperation are both difficult. Working in a group may be more difficult than working alone. Giants don't have to be famous historical figures. They can be teachers, friends, families, and even enemies from which you learn things. I like that I can be someone else's giant, even though I'm quite small. <laughs> Analyzing and interpreting date, um, literature may provide a greater experience than just reading a book. Understand and appreciate sarcasm. Great rewards come from hard work. Strict does not mean mean, and easy does not mean good. <clears throat> Never give up on anything that is worth starting. Innovate. Stand up for those who can't stand up for themselves. Make beautiful art. Persevere. Act like a mirror. What you reflect out will be what you see around you. Peer pressure is only as strong as you let it to be. No one is special, but we are all unique. Show your work. Don't forget your homework. Multiply by the reciprocal of the, the divisor, not the dividend. Support your answers with evidence. Be quiet. <laughs> Don't procrastinate when it comes to schoolwork. Listen to all instructions before taking action. Appreciate. Thank you to all our families in the Earhart community for helping us learn these valuable lessons that will help us soar to excellence. Thank you. many times. However, we have a lot of people along the way that help you soar to excellence. One of the people who in the history of Earhart School helped students soar to excellence was a wonderful reading teacher, Madeline Lee. And Madeline worked at Earhart for many, many years doing what she treasured most, which was helping students learn to read. And her favorite were students that was kind of hard to learn to read, maybe somebody that it wasn't the easiest thing. I know some people, reading just kind of happens. Other people have to really work at it. And each year since Madeline passed on, 
We have a very special gift presented by her family, and I know her husband's here, um, to a graduating fifth grade student. And the student that the gift is given to is a student that it wasn't always easy to learn to read, but who has kind of moved past that and is doing a great job of that right now as a fifth grader. And the student that this award is given to this year is a student who came to Earhart School as a first grader partway through the year and spoke no English. And in addition, the student hadn't learned to read, begun to learn to read in their own language either. And so coming to America into an English speaking environment that was really quite different and not knowing how to read or write put a real, real challenge ahead. However, what we've seen from this student is someone who works incredibly hard every day. And at this point, as a fifth grader, continues to work very hard, but is reading all the fifth grade things and doing fabulous writing assignments. And we're going to ask Radiate to come up. chapter one of a book with many chapters. Please use the foundation that you have from chapter one to support the incredible learning that you will experience the rest of your school career. Amelia Earhart took great risks in her life. You too will take risks as you take the path to success. With each risk, consider the challenges the obstacles, and the potential gain. And at this time, we are going to present 
promotion certificates to each class. Waverly Achacoso, first honor. Seth Adams. Luke Allen. Lilia Bernstein. Jacinth Chen, second honor. Natalie Chong. Gordon Cunningham. Brianna Franco. Robert Goodman. Arturo Guzman. Jonathan Kim. Pauline Kim, first honor. Samantha Kim, second honor. Andrea Kwan, first honor. Caroline Linero, perfect attendance. Radiate Lathan, perfect attendance. Ethan Lee. Caitlin Liu. Ryan Lynch. Michelle Mao. Neith Mayhew. <laughs> Sophia Middleton. Kendall Rowe, first honor. <laughs> Lucas Schneider, first honor. <laughs> Jacob Scuda. <laughs> Maxwell Strand. Sterling Two, first honor. <laughs> Jacob Yee. <laughs> Simon Yu. <Yu-Yu>. Nathan Yu. <laughs> Christopher Yuan. Sophia Esposito. Congratulations, room 46. Abigail Joy Allen, second honors. Jasmine Al. Cindy Bell, first honor. Yeah. 
Joshua Blackman. Nora Chen, perfect attendance. Cody Cunningham. Brianna DeBronca. Alyssa Eugenio <laughs> Sophia Loren Flores <laughs> Malcolm Foops <laughs> Catherine Hawkins Smith Sarah Arambu, second honors. Woo! Omar Khan, first honors. Brandon Lee, first honors. Sixto Madera. McKenna Mastora. George Mosley, second honor. Edward Onaga. Ian Carl Quillotin. Sage Ryder. Zoe Spencer. Amaya Noel Thomas. Dakota Trigg. Jaden Wong, first honors. Christina Wu, second honors, perfect attendance. Yeah! <laughs> Jessica Yabro. <laughs> Colin Yi, perfect attendance. Kira Yi, first honors, perfect attendance. Samuel Yep, first honors, perfect attendance. Justin Yi. Nathan Yu, second honors. Congratulations, Room 45. And last, but certainly not least, Room 44. Jack Allen. Cazares. 
And I shared some of your visions about Earhart School earlier. There was one more. And Kira thought that maybe we should get paid for coming to school and working hard each day. And you actually have been paid for coming to school and working hard each day. You've been paid with wonderful experiences, with learning, with memories you will never forget. So in closing, Amelia Earhart dared to fly with courage. As you leave Earhart School, dare to be courageous. Amelia Earhart took risks. As you move forward, you too will need to take risks to be the most successful person you can be. Study the risks you plan to take and understand the benefit of taking that risk. Amelia Earhart had a vision. Develop a plan or a vision of who you are, what you want to be, and what you want to do in your life. Keep these goals close to your heart and act every day with these goals in mind. You are capable and well prepared to meet the challenges of middle school. Congratulations on your growth and learning.